fasten your seatbelts. Oh, God. We're ready to go. Someone's showing off with the titty. Wonder who that is. Craig and Tracy here. Welcome back to episode two. Jayco Silver Line Outback. <sighs> We've had a shocking morning just before we get down there. We go to launch the boat. I forget to put the bungs in. Every guy has done that once in his life. If you haven't, it's going to happen to you very soon. So it's one of those days where you need six beers before lunchtime. So I've started right now on my first one. Yeah. Let's get down there, wrap up this second episode of the Jayco Silver Line Outback. Oh, yes. it's Maybe dog. it's the Toyota of caravans. Mm. I guess out there, a lot of people will be laughing at that suggestion. Yeah, they will be. <laughs> Reliability? I don't know. No, I'm talking about Toyota, as in there's a shitload of Toyotas in the country. All different brands, makes and services, the Toyota dealer everywhere. That's my reference to Toyota. So that was my reference. That's what I mean. These days I'm becoming everything that I hate. Pushing me around, but now it's too late. My mind is a place that I can escape. Your ghost. Sometimes I wish that I could wish it all away. Sometimes I wish that I could see. Okay, we're going to have a quick look around the outside of this uh, JK now, the Silver Line. Now, this is not a real fully off road van, right? You can tell that by the, the 50 mil hitch that's on the front of it. Yeah. It's got the boss jack. This is one of the wind-up ones, just up and down. I mean, it's pretty normal. Stabilizer control, breakaway system, handbrake. You can use a jockey wheel here if you're Hercules. Well, that's pretty normal. Stone guard up the front. Little spot where they put all the hoses in the front here. External tap. Just have me a look in here. So this is a big front compartment sort of replaces those big metal steel boxes you see on the drawbar. Anyway, plenty of room in here. You get the barbecue in here and other stuff. Yeah, it's got gas bottles hidden away there, so I'll show you those. You might notice they're not on the front of the van. So this is a tear weight of 27, ATM of 332. So, you know, get about 500 kilos, which is pretty good. Coming around here, it's another entry into the side. Yeah, so you can just access that this way. Again, good seals. These are quite good compartments. You can't see much getting past those seals anywhere. So, this is pretty good. Hot water system. Let's have a quick look in here. Now, this system here is about 22 litres. You turn the main one on and off here. I'm just going to turn it off now. But, yeah, it's the Ants Pants. American made, pretty good product, this one. Yeah, so it's got the two, it's like a rubber thing here. Anyway, if you wanna plug the tap in here if you're in a caravan park, yep, that's the point. These other two here, you just fill up with water. It's got two 85 liter, 90 liter water tanks. As you fill it up on this particular van, and it just seems to take a fair while to fill up. Those pipes aren't that big. And the air's got to come out these little mesh holes here. So occasionally you need to have a look in there and clean them out. Things can get in behind. That's looking nice and neatly wrapped in there. Just make sure, just push that down to make sure you haven't left the taps on. Yep. So you don't want that buckling around during your travel. But you should have the water pump turned off inside anyway. Big external windows. These are pretty flush with the side of the van too, so that's a good thing. They're not sort of sticking out. Yeah, external storage area. There's a few of these around the van, but you know, pop some little gizmos in, little jacks or chocks or whatever. The big external slide out. A lot of people say there's problems with these, but if you keep all these tracks, this works on the runner system inside in the motor. All these rubber seals, they look in very nice condition. We've tested this a few times in and out, so it's working fine. Big toilet cassette in here. Yeah, so this is one of the bigger ones, I'll just show you. It comes out easy. 
Yeah, it's a big Thetford one. Always pays if you're doing a lot of travelling, just to have a spare one of these. Never know where you'll get stuck. You'll get stuck in the middle of nowhere. And uh, you don't want to be messing around with this thing. So if you have a spare one, that's good. Down here, it's got the Truma gas heater. So you must take this cap off if you've got that gas heater on. Just lets it breathe. You can see here the rollers. I don't have any problem with these slide outs, but a lot of people do. I think if you maintain them correctly, probably be fine. Another big window there above the toilet, around the back. Got a safety camera up there. Yeah, looks pretty good. This man, big uh, bar at the back here, nice and solid. So you know, okay. It's got the standard stabilizer legs. This one here only has two 90 litre water tanks. One of the features is the spare wheel being underneath the van, which I think is probably a good idea. You might have a bit of clearance here, problem, but all things considered, looks pretty good. Because this one here has still got a wooden floor, but the new ones have that composite material. See down there? That's their own suspension system which can be retrofitted with the with the airbags from Cruise Master. That's always a good thing. There used to be a little adjustment here for the rear bar. So you can slide that in and out to suit and bolt it up. What the load rating is I don't really know, but it's just held on by a couple of bolts on each side. Seems sturdy and solid enough when you're touching it. The clean up. The last clean up. Oh my god. That's good. I need the outdoor tap. Yeah, it's pretty good. So have a look around this side. There's an external table. It just folds up onto the side. Two 240 volt outlet points here. And a 12 volt. So really equipped well. And again, another storeroom down here. There was one of these out over the other side I didn't show you. It's got some chocks and whatnot in there, but put whatever you like mate that's good nice little mud flaps 16 inch wheels these are all terrain tires with the jtec independent suspension a couple of external speakers only one light outside it's all white and on the other side of the awning though you've got this led light strip all the leds work as well don't they yep. very good like you can see the length of this awning it's only the full size, full side of the van. A few vents, TV, outdoor entertainment unit. All these things are standard. But if you have a look in here, it's nice and tidy. A couple of more power points in here. Just turn that one off. Yeah, and I love these little brackets. They've got a, if you can see in here, they've got a bar that comes down and locks it into place. The same on the internal TV bracket as well. So you can actually have your TV on there Tighten up this screw and leave it there so you don't have to let it, you know, have that lucky dip of putting it on your bed and seeing if it doesn't come off or not. Pretty good. No, it hasn't, but you haven't been on some rough tracks. A couple of big vents out here. This is where the fridge is. So if you're doing a lot of red, red, red road riding, you'd, you'd want to have a little look inside here and make sure you get some mesh or something in there that doesn't let all that red dust in. Another one above the door, that's there as a safety device because you're using gas cooking and that inside, gas heater, that kind of thing. That vent's got to be open all the time. This is the beautiful door. This is like an aircraft carrier. I keep talking about this every time, every van. It's just the ant's pants, mate. Little screen that comes down. The only other van I've seen this, I've seen it on lots of motorhomes, but the only other caravan I've seen this on is, is on the uh, on the zone van. So who came up with this design first? I don't know, but this is a little, let me open this. See, easy, lock. This one here unlocks the screen. That goes back, magnetically locks in there. It's a beauty, mate. Hey, guess what? We have ended the controversy about the door on the Jayco. 
designed by the guy. Brad, isn't it? Yeah, Brad, we just met him. He used to be a head honcho at Dometic. He was the GM of Dometic. Mm. So, they built this little door, the u butte door. Mm. Anyway, first fitted to Jayco. A quality item, being tested in the Ford wind tunnel. Anyway, there's no doubt about it, it's great. But my point is, it was on the Jayco before. Mm. Before that, what's that other thing you the, like? The zone. The zone, yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> Maybe okay. they put them on the same time, I don't know, but look. Jayco wins one. Anyway, nice little step up. We love these outside stairs. Just very simple to operate. Sounds a bit noisy, and it is gal, but when you step on it, she's super tough. Those aluminium, particularly the double step aluminium ones, every time you step on, you feel like it's gonna fall off. Another storage compartment here. Yep. It's just got external mat and whatnot, but the good thing about this is internal access. So this is the first under storage area. Right, so you can access a few key things that you've had outside under this seat. <clears throat> yeah, and then you have a look in here. So this, this is a continuation of that same storage area. That's a massive unit under there, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty good. I could put heaps of stuff under there. You could put a million shoes oh, under there, mate. I could put all my puffer jackets under there. Yeah. yeah, they'd all fit. So that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So this whole club lounge area, by the look of it, has under seat storage. Mm. Oh yeah, so that well, one goes there. Yeah, okay. That. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're over the other side now. Look, this has an external. No, oh, what's that's that? where the water pumps are, though. Okay. They've still got a lot of water in the air in them. There's a water pump in here. And I tell you what, it's the quietest water pump I've experienced in a van. All that wiring, that all looks quite neat and tidy. Again, you've got those seals there between the inside and the outside. There's no dirt at all in around here, is there? No. Look at that. And it has been to the outback. That was this last trip. That's right. The, um, it's been on plenty of red dirt roads, this van. Pretty good. So that makes very easy access in there, doesn't it? Okay, you're probably not going to store anything down there, but there could be the odd trinkets, a little basket down there with something in it. What's under here? Okay. Oh, that's the hot water system wrapped so inside, uh, though. Yeah, really good insulation. What did I say it was? 20 litres or something. 22 litres, but yeah, all these seals between the internal floor and the outside, just beautiful. Look around them. In this van we know, it's not in immaculate condition like inside everywhere, is it? It's not like, you know, there's an anal owner cleaning it out regularly. Look down in there. Well, because the van's in storage. So. Yeah, but that's a white base there, so there was lots of red dirt and brown dirt and that you'd be seeing it under here wouldn't you so obviously all of those rubberized seals work a treat mate very good and this light that we said wasn't working actually does work perfectly like so you got blue light and then more light and then maxi light maxi light for you how good is that and it's like a quality sort of product you know it's not not flimsy and again listen to that yeah, so airtight seals in there nothing getting in there you can of course put these awnings down so these these big arms they can go all the way out where we've got it pegged down there this is the gas bottle section yeah this is the slide out pull the button down there she just slides straight out which is a good thing Yep. So when you got this one disconnected, it'll slide out further. Easy to replace. All safe and clean and tidy. Yep. This is a great idea, I think, rather than I'm just taking up all that space on the drawbar. I'd rather have something else on the drawbar. Like a rack, a dirt bike rack, or some rack for an outboard motor. Yeah. Or just putting some timber there. That kind of thing. All very good. I like it. Big front window. This is something that we really love, this front window. It's got a cover that comes down over the front of it. Yeah. 
That's all good. There's heaps of room under here. So you could easily have, and this rack system is set up so that you can easily add some water tanks. Yeah, heaps of room under this front here. You could have another two or three tanks if you wanted to. Not that you'd want to, but there sure is a lot of room underneath here. So you can see a little bit of wear here. This is a few years old, that man. I've used a metal here. Slight bit of rust on the outside. It's these kind of little things, stainless steel screw, but just a normal standard metal bracket. So, nothing to worry about overly. But anyway, you see here, this has got a rubber inside it. It does sit a fair way off the van, compressed against that rubber. So, that's just something I've noted. Probably needs a polish.